video today. I'm just kind of doing stuff around the house, cleaning and organizing, basic adulting essentials, and enjoying more of the weekend. So I also received a couple items that I wanted to unbox with you guys um, in case they are of interest to you. I haven't really seen many people talk about these um, in any kind of product review on social media. So maybe we can learn about them together and see what we think. So these items are for travel, like travel solutions. Um, because I have a couple like decent travel items like duffel or backpack or whatever, but I do notice like I've been hearing so much about packing cubes and like so many more solutions to make packing more um, efficient. And that's a big deal for me. So, so the first item I am opening here is this. I actually got it off Amazon uh, because it was such a good price which I was worried like sometimes with products I've bought on Amazon I'll receive it and I'm like this is definitely used it is not brand new so I am very skeptical but this is just coming out of a package like out of a plastic on it so that's encouraging <laughs> and yeah the price was so good I was like okay I'm gonna try it out so this is from Amazon it's a Vera Bradley jewelry organizer I'm going to open it with you guys. So this is how it looks. It opens up like a book. <laughs> oh, and some more plastic. And you might see a kitty cat here or there in this video too, FYI. <laughs> Disclaimer. So I'm just going to feel around and like describe what I'm feeling. Y'all probably can see this and say, oh, I get it. But I have to feel through and understand it for myself. So I feel these little pouches. They do not zip closed. They have elastic, but they're not zippers. So stuff could potentially slip out. But I mean, this whole thing zips closed. So that's for helping. But I wonder if it's frustrating to deal with like stuff finding falling out. So inside of each little pouch here, like I said, it's um the top is elastic on each pouch. And on the inside, there is like a soft suede lining, which is nice. And that can also help. Um, with protecting your jewelry and not letting it get scratched. So that's really thoughtful. Um, so I'm finding a little bitty slots at the top. I think hmm, these might be to secure bracelets or necklaces. Like, do you see the little top here? There's like snap closures and they seem like they're great. You can open and close them to secure a necklace maybe. Um, I'm gonna try to pop one open and see how that goes challenge okay challenge accepted so there it is it's popped open and you can like scoop it through your necklace and then secure it um so there are one two three four five little snaps up no that might be a lie one two three four five i think that is correct um so it feels like there's five snap closures for necklaces and then one two three little pockets for like rings or earrings and then um, there's also one bigger little pouch at the bottom where you could put larger bracelets or chunkier necklaces maybe like miscellaneous and then on this side well there is a pouch in the middle which is nice this is that suede material which is very you know gentle on your items and you can slip anything in there that you want to you know um, if there's things that are less delicate and you don't mind having a few of them together in one big pouch, there's that option in the middle. And then on this other side, let's see. Um, there are, okay. So there's a couple little handles here which do unsnap and it seems like you could also put rings on those. That's really nice. I've never seen, I guess I've never had like a travel jewelry organizer before like this so this is really thoughtful with the little organizing for rings on it and they do snap and unsnap so they'll stay securely in place with your rings on there um and when there's two little bars like that for rings and then down here there is a zipper compartment that you can open to put things in that for sure won't fall out and that has the suede lining as well um and there's also, I'm noticing two little bars here that do not unsnap, or maybe they do. Maybe that's a lie. Oh, maybe they do. Yep, they do. So there's, you could, I showed you guys these two bars that seem like they're for rings. 
that snap and unsnap to stay secure. And there's these two bars that are leather and flat, which I guess you could think about what seems better for those. I mean, you have two options here on what you want to secure on them. So that seems like all of the little, this thing is really nice. Um, it is a soft shell on the outside. So like potentially things could get smushed and you may not like that. Um, there might be other jewelry organizers that are more rigid on the outside to, to hold their shape. But I just think, um, like I said, I got this on Amazon. It's a Vera Bradley, it still has the tag on and it was $17.50 and I thought that was a pretty great value for how efficient this is. And I love Vera Bradley. I've used, I've purchased many items over the years so I understand it's good quality in my opinion, you know, to each their own. But I am down with this. So excited that I got this for a great value and it's gonna be so useful. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna feel so good packing efficiently like that. So then I have a big box here to open with you guys. And let's see here. just actually called the store and I've done this once before so I knew Vera Bradley does this and it's so sweet and accommodating you can just call the store and an associate will happily like shop in the store for you over the phone and then they will ship it to you they'll ship your items to you um, if it's more than a certain amount if you pay if you're purchasing more than a certain amount um, like maybe it's $75 or $100 worth of items um, or more then your shipping is free and you can still return the items. I mean, you'll have to probably take them in store. I would imagine. I don't think I got a return slip, but they're also so accommodating. I bet they would give me a return slip if I needed to. Um, but they have a 60 day return policy at the outlet store. So that's really nice. It gives you enough time to really get the items and open them up and see how you feel. Um, but this associate, her name was Ashlyn at the Rentham Outlets location of Bear Bradley Outlet. And she was so sweet and patient because, you know, I can't even look at photos online. So I had to ask her a lot of questions about these items. And I just am always thankful when a store associate is really big on customer service and happy to help me. It just really warms my day. <laughs> So um, that's how I got these items and I'm so excited because it saves you a ton of money. I'm a girl on a budget and those outlet prices are a fraction of the retail. And that's all I can tell you. So let's get in here. So first up is this little guy and it's a makeup bag. So it's a travel makeup bag, just to be specific. I mean, you could probably use it even fully full time, like in your home and to go, but um, it's called like the blush and brush makeup bag or cosmetic bag, they call it. So um, I think this color is considered like a heathered gray, which my prior item, which y'all looked at with me, um, this jewelry organizer, I think it's like a paisley or blue sort of pattern situation. I just said, I don't care what color it is. The price is all I care about. It's so good. It's $17.50 or something like that on Amazon. So go check it out. This one, the blush and brush cosmetic, and the other items I'm going to show you are from the outlet that I placed the order over the phone with the store associate. Um, so this is called, yeah, the blush and brush cosmetic bag, and it, I'm excited to check it out. Let's see. Um, okay, so let's see. This is one side I'll show you guys, the inside here. Um, it kind of opens up on both on two different sides. Like this is one flap and the other side I think opens up as well. So first I'll show you this side. And from what I can tell, there are a few little slip pockets here. I think that is for the, like your makeup brushes, if you have them and want to do that, or probably like mascara or eyeliner, like all kind of more, you know, pen shaped items. And then inside here, this side let's see I'm feeling zippers or at least one yeah there's one big zipper pouch and the inside of this all feels like nylon so it's like that waterproof or water repellent at least material it's not soft like suede like the jewelry organizer this is like a waterproof more durable material um, I should say water repellent because I don't know that it's waterproof the outside is still the cotton, just like this jewelry organizer. These are both a cotton quilt. So this can get 
you know, affected by water on the outside, but the inside at least is water repellent. Um, so, so far that's really nice. Like you have a zipper pouch here and then you still have enough room to like put something on top, like maybe a, a palette if you use palettes or like your blush and like any compacts could probably go on top of the zipper pouch there. So now I'm gonna close this side. And let's see the other side. Um, am I reopening the same thing? No, okay. So, sorry guys, you know it can be, I'm sure you can imagine this is always tricky when you're blind and discovering a new item. So this side feels just like a completely open area. It's just, I'm trying to show you guys the best I can. Um, it's just like you open it and it's one big compartment. So this side might be easier to store like your um, foundation and like, I don't know, other bigger items um, like moisturizer or primer. Um, it's a little deeper on this side. Um, if you look online, you can find the full dimensions of the item. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to be able to read the tag to you with the dimensions, but this side is a little deeper. And then even with the like, once you wanna close the top and zip it closed, like even it has a little depth as well. So this side is the side that would I think more easily fit your foundation and other bigger items, but I could be wrong, but it seems like just, it's gonna be very useful. Um, I'm gonna try it out and it was a very good price because everything at the outlet store was like a discount plus another discount. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, then let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So I never knew about this item. I just learned about it this week. Um, just trying to search online for Vera Bradley travel items. So it's called a Diddy bag, D-I-T-T-Y. I don't know exactly how they came up with that name for it. I'll have to like Google that separately. But, um, so it folds up flat like this, which is really nice obviously and you can even fold it flatter or smaller into like a really little bitty piece <laughs> so when you open it up and expand it it i've been hearing people say like they use this for like their wet swimsuit if you're gonna like be going to the beach or traveling and then like want to go somewhere after and you'll you're like changing out of your swimsuit and want somewhere to put it where it's not going to get everything wet um if you're putting like you can put this inside your tote or whatever bag you have and it's waterproof on the inside, like a lunchbox almost. So it'll keep the swimsuit like securely away from all your other items. You could also put gym, like gym clothes in here that you already worked out in and they're like sweaty, or you could put your shoes in here when you travel. I was imagining shoes. The bottom is round, so that's a little different, like, a, like having it fully filled with stuff and then trying to put it in a suitcase. I don't know if I'm gonna, how I'm gonna, Feel about that I think it's more useful in like a tote bag or backpack that you're having near your body but um it's really just I think it's got a lot of multi-purposes for it and I think there might be a zipper pouch in here too maybe not maybe not I might be lying I think it's just one big opening and then it does have a drawstring so that's how it secures the drawstring is a little um tricky it doesn't just smoothly glide open and close for the best way but I just wanted to try it out because I've been hearing a lot of people like kind of raving about it as like a really great thing to have so I'm excited I think it's going to be really useful and I forget what color it is but I was like really flexible I think it's a pattern which is fine like I mean their patterns are cute it's just really hard for me as a blind person knowing I can't fully understand what the pattern is going to be looking like I just and to know if it's really me or not, but that's okay. I mean, Vera Bradley is so cute and I trust it that it's no matter what it looks like, it's cutie <laughs> prices because like I said, I'm a girl on a budget and being blind, trying to find solutions for efficiency are such a big deal for my life. Like in my home, when I travel, everything. So um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing with me and please let me know if you think of any questions. I'm happy to answer in the comments, but um, I really hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time.